Marine Corps operator. Let's take a closer look. It's Tennessee Brand. Springfield Armory Marine Corps operator got out and shot it yesterday and uh, you saw the first look on this and there's been some updates I got a set of cool hand uh, the olive drab and black grips and put on it of course all these guns have been safety checked but yeah good looking gun I like it because it has a rail um, I can attach a light to it I did replace the sights and if you can see let's line that up see that front sight that's the main reason I had to replace the sights because I couldn't see the front sights on the stock front sight um, but what I put on here was a set of the uh, True Glow it's their Tritium Pro and uh, I have the same sight on the loaded if you can see here I like these sights I like that u-notch and I like that white front dot um, of course I did put the black and gray grips over on the loaded I think it looks nice with the stainless it just seems to kind of dress it up a little better than those uh, red and black ones I had on it um, but the, the stock sights yeah they're, they're night sights but you can see here that front sight it's just basically it's a black sight with a little piece of tritium and that makes it really hard for me to see uh, my eyes aren't what they used to be but uh, you saw we were doing some shooting it was pretty windy I was surprised how windy it was when we got there when we left there wasn't any wind at all here in the city and we got out there in the desert and yeah we had a, a pretty good breeze to deal with but uh, here's some targets here's our first one these are all shot at seven seven yards um, on this guy I was putting the dot basically on on the gray and you see it was hitting a little high it is more or less centered up then uh, we'll, we'll move in here's a second target that I shot on this one I put my dot down here so the gray was on top of the front sight and I mean it's just it's right there it's perfect uh, I got one little flyer here but for the most part yeah it's chewing the gray right out of that target and you guys who watch my videos you know my standards it's seven yards if I keep them in this circle it's good if I can keep them in that gray it's outstanding and this gun for just the second seven out of the gun was shooting outstanding and that's all with 230 grain ball here's my third group same basic deal uh, eight rounds this was with an Ed Brown magazine and as you saw in the intro uh, with the Ed Brown with these guys see the EB there Ed Brown it wasn't locking back and I came home and checked it with all my Ed Brown magazines and uh, they just they weren't locking back at least not consistently occasionally it would lock back but not not consistently um, with these Metgar magazines it works a hundred percent every every Metgar I have locks this gun back perfectly um, all the factory mags the blue and stainless seven round locks it back and uh, there's even some kind of no name I guess they're checkmate maybe seven round it locks it back no issues whatsoever um, now on these these are also Metgar uh, and but they're the blued and it was kind of hit and miss with those it would lock it back sometimes and it would not lock it back other times so not sure what the issue is um, I changed slide stops same deal uh, even with a, a different slide stop it, it still wasn't consistent with the uh, with the with the Ed Brown but uh, took the uh, factory mags 
and took some of my 185 grain plated hollow points. These are hand loads. Put 14 of those on target. And you can see the majority of them landed right there in the gray. Um, these Springfield Armory guns, these 1911s, are real shooters. All of them, if you watch my videos, all of them will cut groups at 7 yards that you just cannot believe. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal accuracy. Uh, a lot of it has to do, I believe, with the design of the gun, that grip angle. For me, it just fits my hand beautiful, especially with these slimline grips. I like to go with the thinner grips. They just seem to be more comfortable um, with a good set of sights. And then with that trigger, uh, 1911, you cannot beat the trigger on a 1911. They even, out of the, out of the box, they are just phenomenal. Uh, you get a really good trigger pull. But uh, yeah, this, this is an awesome gun. Uh, like I said, I got a little of that uh, PL Mini 2 Valkyrie that goes on it at night. So I do have a, a railed 1911 now that I can use for home defense. Um, eventually, I will be getting an FNX 45. I'm not sure when that will ship and when it will get here. Uh, we'll do a review on it. It will probably take over bedside duty since it's uh, 15 plus 1 rounds of 45. But for now... Yeah, eight plus one rounds of uh, the Golden Saber Remington 230 grain. That's going to get the job done for home defense, and I, I think it's a good choice. I think it's going to work real well overall. Um, uh, also, just a real quick another point. Uh, I did go ahead, put my bulletproof uh, Wilson Combat plunger in here, and it's got the uh, GI guide rod in here. I put my Wilson Combat parts in here. Because I, I like the Wilson Combat parts. Um, I also found out what those keys are for. See right here, this little guy? That little key slips right in there and you can lock this so that you can't cock the hammer. I don't know if I'm going to keep that or not. I may pick up a different mainspring housing. It's because I really don't like locks like that on guns. Um, if they get put on inadvertently or something malfunctions and it locks your gun up in a, in a fight, you, you're out. I mean, that's it. So, uh, yeah, just a, a kind of a, a quick review, range review and tabletop uh, to let you see. Yeah, I've got another real winner here, Springfield Armory, man. Two thumbs up. They are making some awesome 1911s. So, uh, like I always say, either we stand up for our rights or we can sit by and watch them go away. You all have an awesome rest of your day. Tennessee Frank out of here.